New details tonight about a school bus accident that happened near J.P. Thomas Elementary School here in Columbia. Chris English has been following up on this story for us tonight. He joins us in studio with more. Chris. Jared, thankfully the Richland One School District says that none of the 24 students on the bus were injured. But questions remain tonight about how this accident could have happened and who was at fault. Just after 5 o'clock this evening, a bus carrying 24 students from the after school program at J.P. Thomas Elementary was leaving the school when it collided with a small box truck. The students, bus driver and those in the box truck were all checked out by EMS and cleared with no injuries reported. Patrick Ames was a passenger in the truck when the collision happened. He says the accident could have been a lot worse. Man, we was just getting off work and coming up this road right here and I already seen them kind of pulling out. And then it was going to be a head on collision until my coworker swerved out got in the grass area and we like kind of saw a swipe. After making sure that he and his co-worker were unharmed, Ames says they went to check on the passengers of the bus. There were some tense moments as Ames has family that attends the school. My little sister goes to this school, so I was making sure she wasn't on the bus. Yeah. The South Carolina Highway Patrol is investigating the accident and one parent that we spoke with who did not appear on camera said she was shocked to learn that the bus her daughter normally takes home had been in an accident. The mother claims that no one from the school had informed her of the incident. We asked the Richland One School Board what the protocol is when a bus with students on board is in an accident. In a statement to News 19, the district said parents are notified when there is any sort of accident involving one of their buses. Depending on the situation, either that same bus or a different bus will normally transport the students home. Parents do have the option to pick up their child at the school or from the accident scene, which is usually in a different location. It all just depends on the circumstances. And tonight we've reached out to the Highway Patrol for a copy of the accident report, but have yet to receive that information. In studio, Chris English, News 19, WLTX. All right, Chris, thank you so much.